This is Jesse Tim with uh, Board Riders Review, and we're here at Wax Research, uh, the maker of Sticky Bumps products. Uh, they make waxes for skis, uh, snowboards, uh, and skateboards. Um, they were founded in 1972 by the owner John Dahl, who is here with me today to uh, give us a nice tour and uh, show us how the wax is done. And uh, I want to thank you, John, for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Glad you're here. Thank you. Well, basically, Surf Wax is a wax which is uh, hydrocarbon. It can be mineral, vegetable, animal, uh, natural waxes. They're all hydrocarbons. It's a different, the difference is they're, where they're derived from and what the actual molecular link looks like, how many carbon atoms are on it. So the beginning of the process are waxes that are blended to adjust that carbon molecule, basically. And that's chemistry and art together. That's 40 years of doing this to find the right balance of where we want that to end up. So the, the beginning is getting your raw materials together and then if you follow me, I'll show you the process. Hey Vic. Um, these are steam boilers. A key to the process is actually heating, melting and heating the wax. And you want to do that in such a way as you don't drive off any heat or fumes or smoke. Uh, and that's one of the differences ecologically with our company and other companies is that we don't want to drive any uh, burned hydrocarbons into the air. So here, what we're doing is in different kettles, we have different mixtures of wax and some other ingredients that go into surfboard wax. They're all, you can see there, it's very low heat. There's no smoke or fumes coming off, very controlled. It does two things. Number one, you're combining molecules. So you want to do that the proper way. You don't uh, get too much heat, which changes that process. And number two, the, we don't want to drive off any hydrocarbons into the air. Then these different ingredients are brought together in a mixing pot and that's the beginning of the process. So for each formula, there's different uh, percentages of the different ingredients. If you're doing a warm water or tropical wax, you have a higher melt temperature paraffin. If you're doing a cold water wax, cool wax, you're dropping your melt temperature of your waxes down so that it's softer, flies easier in cold weather. So wax is mixed. Uh, it's mixed into different drums depending on the formula and then of a filling machine that's the filling machine itself is custom made uh, for us and basically every five seconds we produce nine bars of surf wax so one man and one ship can do about uh, 18,000 bars in a day with two people uh, in about seven hours, we can do 24,000 bars. Those are the, the, the initial steps. It's blending the waxes, mixing the waxes, filling the trays, which are the molds, the shape of sticky bumps. Then they go onto the cooling racks. From there, they go into a freezer. So this is a custom-made freezing box that, that we have done. It's really quick in dropping the temperature, so we can rotate these trays two or three times a day uh, if we're running, depending on what we're running at the time. So everything's brought down below freezing through the freezer. Then it next step is out this side. So the reason we freeze it is to get it out of the molds. So once it's down, this has been in a few hours. Fall out of the tray. So, to unload 15,000 bars is a few people, a couple hours in the morning. Then these go into boxes and go up to the wrappers. So, the raw wax is boxed, then picked up with a forklift and set up on the mezzanine where we do our wrapping and packaging. 
The uh, Degla wax is probably our fastest uh, growing unit of wax. And uh, sticky bumps originally, and we started uh, sticky bumps in 1985. It was a day glow wax, it was the first day glow wax. And as it sort of ran its course through the 80s, we didn't use the name sticky bumps until 92 when we uh, figured out how to take paraffin surf wax and turn it into basically a new animal by uh, different additives that hadn't ever been used before. So most modern waxes look like this. It all came from wax research and that very first bar of sticky bumps. And it really took off on its own organically and sort of set the industry standard, which still is true. So basically here we have three or four or five girls uh, hand wrapping, depending on the volume of wax we're doing. Uh, each one of them does about 6,000 bars a day uh, in a fairly uh, relaxed uh, eight hours, I think. But they're, they're good at it. So that's the criteria if you want to whack, wrap wax here is uh, you got to be fast. Sticky Bumps originally in 92 was a hand wrap product, um, environmentally uh, sensitive from that time in the paper we use, the process we use, uh, staying away from plastics. And uh, we're a few years later than 92 and we still do it that way. Uh, from a production point of view, it's probably not the most efficient. Although to get a machine to replace a girl is probably a six-figure uh, investment for one girl, one day. We're gonna, we're gonna see the world's fastest in a minute, rapper. And Tanya, she slows down a little with a camera on her, but she is officially the world's fastest wax rapper. Wow. <laughs> She holds the title undisputed. Really? <laughs> yeah, if you think, if you know anyone faster, bring them on. <laughs> she wraps 6,000 in about eight hours. So, cases, how many cases a day? 65 cases. That's a box like this. So, there's 84 bars in a case. It's about 6,000 bars, somewhere in there. So that's the process, out of the freezer, onto the label, into the box, and then uh, we can go down and look at the basic unit down here. So from the wrapping process, all the wax is put onto pallets. These are approximately 100 boxes per pallet. That is our basic shipping unit. So uh, this will either go out by truck or we'll load a 20-foot container. We're shipping to Japan, Australia, New Zealand. It's usually a 20-foot or bigger container. We talked about energy earlier and we like to, to feel that's part of when you actually get a bar of sticky bumps that the energy of who we are and what we are and how we run this business the care taken all the way through it is is within that bar of wax and that energy in that bar of wax goes all over the world so there's uh, a responsibility in a way to just send good vibes out and we really believe that Sticky Bumps contains good vibes. John, I want to thank you for uh, giving us a personal tour of your uh, warehouse and factory. Uh, very educational. I uh, didn't know so much went into that one bar of wax that I uh, scrape on my board, and uh, uh, I appreciate that a lot. And uh, again, thanks for uh, giving us a tour. Hey, our pleasure.